if you want to buy this bike so what is the down payment or what is the you know, financial uh, abilities that you should have to buy this and what are its specs what are the pros and cons of this bike and uh, per year what is the expense that you are going to get for this bike Hello, Namaste. This is uh, Raku from uh, yeah, Mysore. So this is my first vlog for uh, you know, uh, just our topic for the day is uh, Benelli T N T three hundred as you uh, guys can see here. And uh, so let me ex tell me about myself. Like uh, so, I am very new for vlogging, and I have my YouTube channel is Motor Vlog Brony. So. Uh, please do like, share, and subscribe. I would like to bring you the new contents uh, as much as possible from my end. So I will try to make sure that uh, so you all get the good details of what I am going to explain. Okay. So today's topic is as I said, Benelli T N T three hundred. See the bike, the Italian, and. Uh, <laughs> so called italian people will say and uh, uh, actually assembles in you know, china and uh, we have uh, you yeah, uh, know dsk benelli dnt 300 so dsk i think uh, very recently uh, dsk has uh, left his you know partnership with uh, the benelli and now mahavir group is taking it up uh, which is in hyderabad so all the plans in Hyderabad. What else today? I have to make a list like this. Uh, like I nearly took around like 15 minutes to 20 minutes to make this one. So what I'm going to explain is like uh, so if you want to buy this bike, so what is the down payment or what is the you know, financial uh, abilities that you should have to buy this? and what are its specs what are the pros and cons of this bike and uh, service the main thing and the consumables the parts the details of it uh, and uh, per year what is the expense that you're going to get for this bike so uh, i think uh, you might have uh, a lot of videos about the tnt 300 uh, in the youtube but uh, this is like more detailed video uh, for the one who actually wants to buy this bike or one who wants to know about it so this is what uh, today's you know vlog about so let us start okay uh, so tnt 300 what is this tnt called tornado naked tree so which is being used for the eight no, TNT 899 which has been discontinued uh, discontinued now because uh, because of some reasons but TNT uh, stands for for the no triple uh, cylinder engines which is 899 and they have uh, carried it to the no, all of their uh, uh, other models too like TNT 300 TNT 302 and upcoming uh, you know, bikes that you have 302 yes okay uh, and uh, 600i so all those bikes that we have so today we will talk about the dnt 300 so <clears throat> if you actually want to buy this bike so what will be the price of it so i'll talk about the price uh, as per the backlog region so in the Bangalore showroom if you want to buy this bike so it costs you around uh, 4 lakh uh, 3000 rupees so is the price of the bike and uh, down payment will be nearly around uh, 70,000 so what you need to pay and uh, EMI 
uh, for I think uh, for three years it is around uh, 10 to 11,000 so that is about like the price and the details so if you want to buy this bike so this is how the down payment and the EMIs and the price will be uh, yeah let's talk about the specs of this bike like uh, the CC uh, CC is around the 300 which is exact 300 and BHP 38.26 and torque is 26.5 for nanometer and a two cylinder engine and six speed gearbox it has and weighs around 196 kgs guys so and uh, the fuel tank capacity is around 16 liters so uh, later on when it comes to the top speed uh, I think what I have clocked is around like 182 so people will say like if you remap the ECUs it may go up to like 195 to 200 km per hour so yeah it goes nearly up to uh, you know uh, 182 at least 182 it goes that what I have done so far so the mileage uh, will be you know in the cities it is 22 to 23 and in the highways probably it is around 27 is max that what I have got in date yeah uh, when it comes to what we don't have in the bike is a slipper clutch and uh, we have an uh, ABS and there are basic electronics that what we have in this bike so it comes with a dual channel ABS uh, and, uh, and front dual disc and a lot of people uh, might not be knowing that it has a dual disc in the front uh, so yeah obviously it has a two disc at the front and uh, the rear one disc so to the overall like three disc brakes that disc brakes that you have in the bike and uh, let's talk about the pros and cons of the bike let's just get into pros first so I have to talk about the build quality as uh, I said like it is an Italian bike and uh, the build quality is really amazing and uh, the plastic and everything looks nearly very good and uh, yeah as I said the pros is like one of it is uh, it has a dual disc at the front uh, and uh, the braking power is quite good uh, because of the weight and we have to look after the weight as well it weighs around 196 you have to you know uh, have a good braking to stop that bike with the speed of 182 what I said so yeah dual disc brake at the front and uh, the engine reliability so engine reliability is the uh, you know, best part of this bike like so it may you may uh, run it for the lakhs of kilometer and you will get the good reliability of the engine and, uh, and a lot of engine parts i don't think so it, it owns out uh, very easily or very soon as possible and uh, uh, stability and the road grip Mm, I have to talk about this stability is because of the weight uh, which is 196 kgs so you have a good stability on the roads and uh, when it comes to the potholes or uh, uh, the hum humps or speed breakers in the road so you don't like, feel like no imbalanced with the bike it is you know, very uh, planted on the road and it goes very very smoothly so let's talk about the comfort next so comfort wise yeah it is a naked bike and uh, you have a pretty great comfort on this bike and you can ride up to 300 or 200 kilometers in one go without taking any of the brakes and uh, the seating posture is good and uh, the shocks are uh, no, uh, well tuned so that uh, you can use it or you can use it for the, any of the uh, you know, uh, roads and uh, it is good for the touring as well so mm, the major uh, pros uh, it is uh, it is the one that uh, the, the one which is you know, people like about the Benelis are the sound the exhaust sound So 
exhaust sound exhaust is an underbelly exhaust uh, for this bike so with the stock exhaust itself it sounds like an inline four actually people will tend to look at you and uh, when you are riding with that speed and uh, the one more thing is like uh, the people will tend to you know look at you and the traffic and uh, it is an attention grabber actually for a lot of people and you will get a lot of q and a's at the road uh, with the you know people out in the traffic so that's one good thing so let's let's talk about the cons of this bike so cons obviously it's all the maintenance is the major con for this bike like high maintenance expensive parts and the parts availability and service charge <clears throat> these are the major uh, like cons of this bike so i'll, I'll explain you uh, the what are the cost of the bike and what are the maintenance that you have to do so yeah let's talk about the service of this bike so service you probably it was like 4000 kilometers every 4000 kilometers you have to give it for the service it was before and now it is moved into uh, 6000 kilometer like every 6000 kilometer you have to keep your bike for the service so the first service will be for 1000 kilometers so which cost you around 6000 rupees okay the second service which is for 5000 which means 1000 you have done it for the first time 1 plus 5000 it is 6000 so it, it comes nearly up to 6500 rupees okay for the third service it is for 12000 kilometers or 6 plus 6 which is 12000 kilometers which may cost around nearly 10 to 11000 for this bike so this is where that I was talking about like being a 300cc bike it has been the maintenance is so costly mm -hmm. uh, consumer pulse wear and tear so in the service they are going to put like oil around 3 liters of oil so 1000 rupees per liter which is fully synthetic oil which needs to be put because of uh, you know uh, heating and uh, all those things we have to use the fully synthetic oil so when it comes to the brake pads like uh, we are going to for the rear brake pads the showroom will take up to like 1200 rupees for the rear and front you have a dual disc which comes around the uh, 2500 to 3000 rupees is what the brake pads cost for you so next come to the tire so front tire cost you around 12,000 I am talking about the Pirelli GTs so Pirelli Angel GTs so tire cost 12,500 and rear tire cost around 13 to 14,000 so the section uh, the tire size for the front is 120 by 70 R17 and the, for the back it is 160 or 60 R17 uh, the way the tire you know closely it is around like 25,000 rupees you need to spend for the tires so yeah let's talk about the tire pressure as well and uh, you have to you know keep 32 psi for the front and uh, uh, 36 for the rear tire so <clears throat> let's talk about the cost of the you know parts i already explained about the brake pads all all those things let's get into you know some of the parts that uh, comes under wear and tire sometimes so yeah uh, mainly uh, you just have to make sure that uh, your bike is maintained well and uh, parked in some good place where the rat won't bite your you know wirings so that happened to me once so i had to fix it uh, just kya bolte hai? I just have to make some jugad for that so kar diya mene jugad ho gaya tha, but it was not so major so it was like yeah very simple one or the minute one where the rat bit is bit the wire so it was made it proper by the showroom so they have costed me around a thousand dollar rupees for that yeah that you have to you know uh, yeah wiring harness uh, when it comes to a wiring harness if you want to change the whole thing 
so it costs around 40 to 45,000 damn that you are going to get a new bike for that new moped at least so wiring harness is too costly so that's why please take care of it if you are buying it so clutch cable so it comes under wear and tire at 12,000 kilometers like clutch cable has to be replaced uh, which is around uh, 800 to 1000 rupees the spark plug has to be replaced at the 12,000 kilometer again which cost you around 600 rupees for two spark plug and uh, air filter as well which closely up to you know uh, 800 thousand rupees again so yeah uh, that's all the, about the variant is uh, let's look into the parts uh, which is like handlebar uh, 4500 rupees for the handlebar and the friend one four cost you around 18 to 20 thousand and uh, uh, what else like mirror cost you around uh, thousand rupees for one so that is too damn costly thousand rupees for the one mirror and uh, so what else uh, like uh, ally a uh, front ally which ally wheel you know ally which cost you around uh, twenty thousand so chain sprocket again comes under the wear and tear like uh, seven to eight thousand rupees uh, i think it it runs up to like uh, based on your riding but it uh, runs up to like 18 to 20 thousand kilometers with chain sprocket so tires and chain sprocket needs to be replaced by 18 thousand kilometers probably uh, i think even more if you are riding in a proper way so 18 thousand is the max that what i think i am going to, i'm going to get so insurance so that's one thing that you need to pay you know, by end of the year so which is which comes around like eight to ten thousand rupees uh, for the insurance and uh, and who doesn't want to you know uh, make a ceramic coating on the bike of course everybody because uh, they don't want any scratches on the bike uh, so they probably go to ceramic coating even i did which is like cost me around four thousand rupees people said like i would say somewhere they are you know charged like six to seven thousand rupees so i've done it for four thousand rupees and uh, which was good let's, let's talk about the yearly expense for this bike so yearly expense i mean eighteen thousand kilometers per year if you do so you will be doing nearly four service uh, which is costing you around thirty thousand rupees and uh, brake pads you need to change the rear at least twice which cost uh, twice and front at least once which cost you around six thousand rupees and uh, ceramic coat if you are doing which cost around four thousand every year you have to do it if you want it and insurance is around uh, eight thousand uh, rupees that is for every year again or like petrol which cost you around like 63,000 uh, rupees for the 18,000 kilometers uh, is what is actually you know you have to spend it uh, and uh, as I said the total comes around like 1 lakh 11,000 rupees on the whole and uh, which is like uh, like uh, yeah upon the price of the bike it is four lakh three thousand plus one lakh eleven thousand nearly up to like five lakh fourteen thousand rupees is what for the year that it's like you have spent it to the bike and uh, per kilometer if i uh, divide the one lakh eleven thousand rupees for eighteen thousand kilometers which is six uh, six rupees per kilometers that you have to keep for the maintenance petrol and for everything okay so irrespective of the parts that will be changed apart from the wear and tears so yeah that's what uh, like six rupees per kilometers if you're traveling on a sunday for like 100 kilometers you have to keep like 600 rupees for the maintenance for that 100 kilometers so yeah uh, that is that but uh, you want to do that it's a craze of the bike anyhow we want to put a petrol for all the other bikes but the mileage is like uh, nearly so what i've got uh, the least is 20 and the max is 27 uh, an average i could say it is 22 to 23 is what you're going to get for that bike in the city and the you know, long rides condition 
on the highways so this is it about uh, the maintenance and when it comes to the insurance it is not a cashless insurance actually so um, yeah you have to you know uh, pay for the accident or anything which happened to the bike and uh, get it repaired from the service center and you have to get that reimbursed from the uh, uh, insurance companies uh, that they would put that amount into your account by you know, holding few thousand rupees out of what the expenses that it happened uh, and uh, uh, yeah RSA RSA is there anyhow I think it is very good to have the RSAs uh, which is outside assistance uh, probably it will be very helpful um, for any of the things like the bike got punctured or bike got breakdown and easily uh, the two you know, RSA will respond to you, you know, very well and uh, they will get the tow vehicle to your location and they will take back to the showroom so that is what actually happens for the RSA and uh, uh, yeah uh, so this is all pretty much about the Benelli TNT 300 I don't know I might have missed few of things for you guys so if anybody knows anything about it you can drop it in the comment section below this is motor vlog brody and uh, this is my first video as i said i think uh, hope i have given a lot of details on buying uh, or owning a tnt 300 so what are the expenses that you have to be ready with and what are the good things about the bikes and the cons also so yeah do like share and subscribe i think uh, i have shown many of the tnt 300 uh, videos in the youtube i think uh, uh, there are a lot of informations which were missing in those videos where i have brought in uh, the each and everything uh, about the bike here so i think uh, you pretty much get all the details of this buying this amazing beauty here so that's all about it so this is ragu signing off please do like share and subscribe if you like my video thank you so much